Hey guys, I got a few questions on how I'm mounting my bucket seats as well as the three point OEM seat belt and a six point harness in the car. So I figured I'd show you guys how I'm doing that. Um, I'll try to do this quickly. So as you can see, I'm using two Recaro pole positions and uh, nothing super fancy. You definitely need a harness bar. Comtech makes one. Uh, titanium Dave makes one. This is definitely uh, Titanium Dave's and it's it's my choice um, of harness bars. You can see it doesn't go over the top. I'm not uh, the kind of guy that wants a bar over my head when I'm driving. So I just use Dave's harness bar which mounts at six points. It mounts up here on the seatbelt receptacle for the OEM uh, location. It also mounts at the bottom seat bolt here and it mounts at the bottom seat bolt over there so this uses the factory mounts and as you guys know probably that the oem seat um, is a structural piece so the seat belts actually mount onto the oem seat uh, bracket so the nsx doesn't have any side mounting points or frame mounting points for the for the seat belts themselves so what I'm doing, let me show you guys first how I'm mounting the OEM seat belt. Uh, the OEM seat belt is, I'm, it's untouched from here, but over down here, I'm using, I'm mounting it onto the Buddy Club seat belt, or I'm sorry, seat rails. And ideally I would want this mount to be somewhere kind of on this side with just the angle. Um, theoretically, I should probably put this and mount it onto this loop in the harness bar i'm still thinking about doing that um, but ultimately in a few weeks i'm making a whole different uh, set of uh, seat rails so one thing i like about the buddy club rails is they sit really low you're able to i mean i can i can't get my finger underneath the seat over here it's uh, basically to the floor and that gives me enough room for my helmet when i'm in the car um, enough clearance up here so I may, I may be able to raise it another inch, I'm not sure, but I kind of like the seating position. I'll do another video on my preferred seating position. You can see it's a little bit reclined um, on, another, on another video. And so this is the belt itself. It's mounted down here and mounted at the, and, and I, didn't touch with, I didn't touch the OEM location up on this side. Now the most important one that most people don't quite do right in my opinion is they don't route uh, and I'm guilty of this because this is how I first had it they don't route the seat belt properly so a lot of times this seat belt will be independent of the loop on the seat over here so you really want this to be inside and routed this way so when you're sitting down you can see that the belt is through the loop on this side a lot of guys route it on the outside so the belt okay, guys. if you can imagine this was the OEM belt it it mounts this way and you know you have the seat itself uh, creating interference with you and it's not really doing much and you'll end up basically submarining and basically if you're in a front-end collision you'll just smash right into um, other things that are undesirable so Essentially, you want to do the same thing on this side. Now, the tricky thing is, if you guys recall, on the NSX, it's a hard bracket. And uh, Dream Powered, Raj, was kind enough to recommend to me... Let me just get this out of here. It'll take just a second. Hard to do this with one hand, but I want to show you guys this setup. And this is kind of a quick release system that is mounted. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting is pretty bad, but uh, the Titanium Dave has provisions for a loop that um, is basically where all of your harnesses mount onto. So this right here, what I'm holding, I'll get into that later, but that's a sub, the sub harness on the six point. So what I did here was I used a second generation, and again, thanks to Raj, uh, rear Eclipse, Mitsubishi Eclipse um, receiver, seatbelt receiver. It's the only one. 
that actually fits in properly on the on the NSX uh, seatbelt buckle. So believe it or not, it's a pretty specific piece. Um, not all Hondas share the same one. And thanks to Willem, he gave me some extra uh, two inch uh, buckle. Oh, actually, he gave me the belt. But to go to talk to Ravi over at wedontlift.com and he's able to get you all of this stuff, which I forget the exact names, but this is the buckle. Uh, this is the two inch belt. Um, this is all, you know, highly rated safety items and um, the buckle itself on this side. So I just chose a quick release in case I need to release stuff. So that's kind of the setup for the OEM seatbelt. Let me show you now the harness setup. So the harness setup, when I'm at the track, I loop this through over here and this other one goes on the other loop on the other side over here. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys that because it's uh, a little bit slightly involved and if I reach in here that's where the anti-submarine belt is um, right over there so these two comes through there and this comes through here and basically will go through that hole over here. Again, impossible to do this with one hand, but I think you guys get the point. So that's basically how I run my harness setup um, in the NSX. If you guys have any other questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer it.